morning everyone day 130 <laughs> uh, slept pretty decent last night uh, it was warm obviously so uh, <clears throat> I only had to get up to, to go pee once and uh, but I did uh, or I got awoken by uh, something I, I it wasn't a deer it wasn't a bear it was just something sniffing around the tent so my best guess would be a raccoon uh, and I did really didn't want to move too much to to see because if it was a skunk it may have sprayed my tent so uh, again but nothing nothing big uh, you're gonna get that when you camp uh, off trail uh, from the people so Uh, I'm still in the no water zone. Um, there's water here. Uh, they just don't recommend uh, that hikers use it because of all the uh, the runoff. Now, I did make a mistake yesterday. I was thinking that it was due to uh, cattle. Uh, it is not. There is so much farmland. There's thousands and thousands of acres of farmland here. And uh, I am sure that it is due to stuff like fertilizers and uh, herbicides. So uh, I just wanted to correct that. But anyways, I still have about two miles of that zone. Uh, I have about a pint of water left, so that would be our first agenda, uh, is to get to uh, a water source so that I can uh, fill up again. Uh, Somebody and I forgot their name. They did leave a note in the in the cooler did leave a, a water cache. So uh, yesterday and I'm very uh, Very thankful for that uh, It was just filled with with, with ice and uh, uh, Water bottles so um, and there is A farm not too far from where I was camping uh, that was selling the uh, fresh fruits uh, like blackberries and that kind of stuff uh, but they were also selling uh, cold uh, Gatorade so I ended up buying a couple bottles there so uh, there are some places that you can uh, uh, hopefully find water uh, in between that 14 miles so the trail uh, is becoming more like the AT uh, we're heading for, there's like a whole nother row of mountains uh, in between all the farm uh, farmland and we're obviously we headed there. So um, I have residential on both sides of me right now. I got major highways too. I can hear cars uh, all night long. So <clears throat> our goal today is to to get to uh, Duncannon. Uh, I have 13 miles to get there. That's that's really a full hiking day for me. So uh, I was letting Kathy know. She goes, uh, "Cause I was backing off on zeros," and I said, "In this case, I'm not going to get there till very very late afternoon." And uh, being so hot, it'd be nice to sleep in a nice bed with air conditioning <laughs> and I said uh, so go ahead and you know make it uh, two nights so I'm not sure if she's uh, found me a place yet uh, we'll find that out uh, uh, as soon as I turn the uh, airplane mode off and see if I get reception so but like always plan on taking you along How beautiful is this, hey? Hopefully uh, Pennsylvania gives me a lot more uh, farm fields, uh, pastures to walk through. They're just absolutely gorgeous. You got beans in the background there. Hey, 
acres and acres. I just checked the far out app. Uh, we're uh, nine miles away um, from the next resupply. Beautiful day. Uh, the gnats are out again. There's no breeze today. Uh, yesterday there was a breeze, and uh, you know what? I don't think I had a gnat problem yesterday either. So uh, that must be it. Uh, as long as there's a breeze, they'll stay away. All right, I'm gonna put you away. I gotta. I'm climbing a hill right now. I'll probably just huff and puff. Uh, but again, it's just uh, just wanted to show you how pretty it was. town of Duncannon down there. Scan the rest of the view. So this is the entrance to the uh, Doyle Hotel and uh, we'll go up to our, my room. A couple of ballrooms. The balcony, uh, you can also sit on the balcony and it's a wraparound porch uh, and sit outdoors. It's also on the second floor. So I don't want to. Oh, looks like it's open, so I'll show you the wraparound porch. This is where they want guests to come in. They don't want them to actually use the front door. Side.
looks like they have several places to eat. They got a couple taverns, couple bars, couple pizza places, uh, even a barbecue joint. So uh, we'll probably have to hit that up for lunch. Let's go show you the rest of the inside. Not sure what's in this room. I am on the third floor. This reminds me of my uh, my old hunting camp uh, up in Berlin. Oh man, used to take me up there. They have a lot of good memories. That's my room. We'll do a tour of that. So this is my room at the Doyle Hotel. Uh, I believe this place was built in 1903. Got a little air conditioner, a little wall heater. This is my bed. Little dresser. This is the bathroom. And the shower. Which I'm going to jump in pronto. So I'm actually on the third floor. It looks like it still goes up, so we'll have to take a look, see how far we can go. More rooms. This is a common bathroom. Sink. Oh, it has a tub. It's probably women's. It doesn't say, but I'm sure it is. Let's go upstairs, see what's up here. Again, uh, um, this hotel was built, I believe, in 1903. It has a lot of history. I've seen it on a lot of YouTube videos. Oh, more rooms. Pretty cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close uh, day 130. Um, I'm at the Doyle Hotel, which is a AT iconic uh, landmark. So glad to be here. <clears throat> um, this uh, hotel was originally built, I believe, in 1903. And um, uh, it's pretty old. <clears throat> Anyways, I had an excellent dinner downstairs. Uh, I'll show a few pics. And uh, I'll get up tomorrow and uh, eat breakfast across the street. And I don't know the name of the restaurant yet, but all the locals recommend that I go there. So um, I will walk to town tomorrow and take a lot of pics uh, for everybody. And uh, I, so far, it's just it's just an old, neat town. So um, I will resupply tomorrow. I believe in order for me to resupply, I need to go by the barbecue place. So I'll probably hit that for lunch. But this place is pretty cool. It reminds me of my old uh, hunting uh, bar that I that used to hunt in. And uh, you would have dinner downstairs, have a few drinks, and then uh, stumble upstairs to your room. So very similar. <laughs> 
Um, but anyways, uh, we'll chat more tomorrow. Uh, 